Hey everyone, it's the Chaotic Artist. Um, tonight we are going to be doing a tutorial on making an aged book stack. I'm going to show you guys a very simple method of making a newer book look old. I'm going to teach you how to take a book like this, a brand new looking book like this, and turn it into something similar to this. So you can make your own book stack. So for this, you're going to need at least three books. Um, and I'm going to take you through the steps. And let's start now. You first want to find a book, uh, find three books. They can have the, you want to have a hardcover book, um, at least a medium sized book. And there's going to be different places. I'm going to leave in the comment box below where you can look for the books. Um, or you can ask some friends if they have some old books. You can contact your library and ask them to put you on a list. So when they're getting rid of damaged books, they'll give you a call and you come and pick them up. And in fact, I would prefer if everybody would look for a book that's already damaged so you're not taking a book that's in really good shape and damaging it. So, okay, what you're going to want to do, obviously this book is damaged, you want to take the, the cover off. That was easy. So then, you're also going to want to take any loose pieces off. And you'll have something that looks a little like this. Okay, let's start. Uh, first, I want to tell you that with aged books, you're going to find the edge. It's called a deckled edge, and it looks very coarse like this. This is how they used to cut books and they are getting harder to find. The books you're going to find today are books with a very smooth edge like this book that has. Um, so we're going to make this book look a lot more like the edge of this book. And how we're going to do that is by first taking this book and either take a serrated knife or a steak knife and always go away from you and you're just going to start rubbing it a little bit. Now you're not going to see too much yet, but you just want to do it for a few minutes. You want to get each side. You don't want to get the binding yet. So once you feel you've done it enough, you know, just three, four minutes on the side, it doesn't really matter. You're going to take the book and you're going to dunk it into some dark coffee or you can use tea. I use coffee, I think it has a better effect and it looks better, it looks a little more natural. All you're going to do is dunk your book into the coffee. Now just, you're going to want to watch it because all paper is different. Some it can take up to 24 hours, some it takes an hour. It also just depends on how far you want to go up. I did this one for about an hour and this book got to here, just to give you an idea. Um, and you're going to want to do all sides after a while. Okay, once you feel that your book is saturated enough on all three sides, please don't get the binding wet. A lot of the newer bindings have glue on it, and it can uh, split your book in half or into threes. But even if it does, you still can use it. If you want to use it, just rubber band it and keep going. Otherwise, hold on to the book because we're going to do some other book things in the future. So, okay, once you have that completed, you want to obviously give it time to dry. Once it's dry, it's going to look like this on the edges a little bit. Now, to make it look a little coarser, like an actual, actual vintage book, you're going to do this one more time. Just get it good on all three sides. You mostly want to worry about this part though. This is the part that's going to stand out the most. And you can also take some inks, any kind of padded ink. Um, I prefer browns and a little black. And you can actually start to age the book binding and give it some real texture. 
like that. Okay. Okay. So once you have that completed, you're going to wait for the book to dry. You're going to give it a good 24 hours. And if you have a floor fan, please put it in front of your floor fan. It will dry a lot quicker and it will also kind of lift the pages a little bit and make it easier for you to do the next step. Now what you want to do, and you can do this while you're sitting and watching TV or a video, is you're going to want to start to crinkle the pages. And you don't have to do one at a time. Some you'll want to do one at a time, but others, you know, you can grab a couple of them. I don't know. Just relax. Grab a Coke. Something to eat. Put on a favorite video, like anything by Anita Spiro. And you just want to keep going. And once you're all finished, your book is going to look a lot like this. It's going to be very fanned out. And you want it nice and puffy and thick. Like this. Now you're going to need at least three books to do this. And you do want to have odd numbers. That is just something that we do in the decor world. Odd things. Odd things. <coughs> odd numbers. You and that number thing. Okay. God. Okay, so you want at least three books per book sack. So now I'm going to bring in these books, which I've already completed. Um, and if you, get, <laughs> if you get lucky, you might find a book where it has some old um, pictures inside. And I got lucky I found this one. So you're just going to kind of... Rip the pages off and throw that away. Throw that away. And now you have this beautiful picture for the top of your book sack. All right. So now we got that going. Now if you don't have a pretty picture and you find out that your book is just darn ugly on top, you can put a picture, a photo of your family if you wish. Unless your family's kind of, you know, not real attractive. Um, you can get a picture of someone else's family if you want. Or a beautiful postcard, maybe a French postcard. Um, I, pref I picked a French card because I do collect these. So, now you're going to put all three of your books together. Now here's the part that's going to be really important. Um... Before you even start making your books, try to find, collect things that you love. Um, they can be family memories, just old things around the house that you think are pretty. You can find things at thrift stores like very old roses. Look at this beautiful rose. You know, things like that. And keep them in a box and have them ready for when you start doing your book stacks. So, we can start. I think that this book stack wrong ribbon this book stack would look lovely with this tea stained piece of ribbon when you start your book stack first you need to glue it okay you're gonna want to glue your book stack you can piece this together right just kidding Okay, you're going to want to glue your book stack. And the reason is, is that you don't want the books moving around while you decorate them. So just add some glue wherever. Put one on top of the other. You can angle one if you want, but when you're first starting, I would say just stay straight. Okay, glue the last one down. Okay. You're going to want to give it a moment to dry. And once it's dried, you're going to take first something to wrap it together. And you can use ribbon. You can use wire. <coughs> Excuse me. You can use cording. Vintage string if you prefer. <laughs> Sorry about the glue gun. It's uh, 
quite nasty and a little bit on the old side. I have many of these and as you can imagine, I go through a lot of them. So next time you'll see me, I'll, I'll get a new one, but for now that's just fine. Okay, so let's wrap our book stack. You're going to take it and you're going to put, what is this called? <laughs> Ribbon. ribbon. You're going to put the ribbon on the front. You're going to place it around the front. And you're going to bring it around the back. And you're going to wrap it. And all you're going to do is go once this way, just like you're wrapping a package. And then you're going to bring it back around. And you're going to bring it up. And when you tie it in a bow, you don't have to do it very tightly because you are going to glue gun this down. So let me do this really quickly. Alrighty then. You can take your <laughs> ghetto ass glue gun. You can make a little bead in the front. You don't have to make a line, just one small little bead. And give it a moment to uh, cool off and harden. While we're waiting for it to cool down, let's start picking some things out. Okay, I always love adding flowers. Um, vintage anti always look good. Um, the one thing that's important to me is that I try to make my book stacks with something of importance, something that has memories to it, something, you know, I. I'm not one of those that believes that your house should be full of fillers. I think that they should be full of things that you love. So uh, maybe put an old love letter in here or a napkin from your wedding or something like that, you know. It just kind of adds to it. I picked this beautiful antique rose, which I actually tea stained myself to give it a little more age these pretty white long flowers a couple of rhinestone items which I'll look through and see which one I think looks better and then I also took some what are these called? Twilies. I took <laughs> thank you <laughs> cameraman I took some doilies and I stained them up a little bit and you can scrunch the edges and you can put that on top with the rose on top. So that's what we're going to do. So to do that part, I'm just going to add a little glue. Probably, you probably want to be a little uh, nicer about it than I am. I mean, I'm used to getting burned. It's okay. Okay, you squinch it up there. Okay, and each layer, you're because you're building up the book. Each layer, you want to give it a few moments to dry so it's not sliding around. Um, now I think I'm gonna add the rose, which I just love. Look at this rose, how old that is. It's just beautiful. That's beautiful, and it has so much age to it. I just love this. Okay. I'm going to give that a moment to dry. And it doesn't quite matter where you add everything to it. <laughs> what are you doing? You're doing that look. Unless you want to be very specific so you can fit certain items in here. Um, you can just keep on going and you can build up. So I would probably take these flowers, keep them in a cluster, and maybe glue them to an area, maybe over here, you know. And then I would probably add a rhinestone piece to this area so it would start to come out to look like this. But you can also add things in between the pages, like throw, excuse if you hear the sound of the water, my daughter's upstairs taking a bath. So that's what that would be. So what I picked out of the box 
of items that I've collected over time was a beautiful, beautiful old pink rose, which I actually went ahead and tea stained it a couple days ago. Um, I picked some doilies, which I also coffee stained some time ago. And I took them between my fingers and I kind of scrunched to the top. And then you just lay that down underneath, glue it down, and then you can add the rose. And then you start just building it up with things that you like. You want to make sure not everything's in the center. You may want things spraying down the side, like this small spray of flowers. Um, you can add some old rhinestones here and there. Um, you can even take it and add a piece of torn lace to the inside. Just tuck it in. Um, you can also uh, tuck a postcard over here and have that stick out a little bit. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Um, I would say once it's all dry, you would want to probably take it and go over it one more time with um, some brown or black stain. And it really doesn't matter what ink pad you use. You know, just go over the edges again. Once everything's on here, maybe run it down the sides and let it look a little bit like the whole thing has been just kind of jostled around from place to place. And then there you have it. You have a great little book stack. And these are awesome little gifts for people. Um, they make great wet wedding gifts. You can give little, you can sneak little cards inside that the people will find later on. Um, these are awesome for shelves, um, especially if you don't have a lot of decor. Um, these are great statement pieces, and everybody will always be interested in looking at your little book stack. So that's about it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you for coming. See you next time.